indoctrination of woke imperialism is not just coming from the governments of the U.S. or the U.K. or the E.U., but there are critical pushes for indoctrinating children. And this is where this is where my blood just starts to boil. The fact that it's it's not it's not just okay. You're 18. You're 21. You're a consenting adult. You can go and do with your life and with your body as you want. But it is a, a specific targeting and indoctrinating children with a specific world view, and that is what makes my blood boil. And really. Our worldview, the way that we see the world is being shaped not, not so much by our families, not so much by our, our religious institutions, but it's by media, media, media. Media is shaping the way that we see the world. When a child is 14, by the time they're 14, they will have consumed on average 18,000 hours of media. That is the equivalent of 6.2 years of eight hours a day of media saturation. And that includes social media, YouTube, and TV. That is shaping the culture. And this is what is coming out on kids programming, kids programming just in this last week. This first clip is from Blue's Clues, which was an old TV series that's still going, that was this cute little dog, kids exploring. My, my kids watched some of the old episodes and loved it, but uh, apparently they have changed, have changed their, their positioning into full, full indoctrination mode. Here's a clip. Hey, Blue, look at all these families. Hi, families. It's time for a pride parade. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. This family has two mommies, they love each other so proudly, and they all go marching in the big parade. This, this, this video goes on for about 10 minutes where this uh, character who is a... Um, uh, what are they called? A uh, drag queen, Nina West, drag queen, Nina West, whose real name is Andrew Levitt, an American drag queen. He is singing and this is cartoon all dressed up in a rainbow dress. And they go through the answer marching, the family's marching one by one, two by two, all the way up to 10. And it you know, starts with the mommies and then, the gay daddies, and then the non-binary, and then the transsexuals, the trans, the trans family. It goes on and on, indoctrinating children. <laughs> it's a children's song, targeted at children, trying to, not trying to, but normalizing this sort of behavior. Well, it's not just Blue's Clues that is moving in this way, and, and YouTube, you know, this... This video is under the children's YouTube. This is approved for children to watch. So if your kid has an iPad or a Kindle and they're watching the kid's channel on YouTube, this is the type of content that is able to be delivered to them. Full-on indoctrination media. Well, Disney, Disney is in on it too. Disney released a 30, 40 minute pride celebration, Disney plus video where again, Nina West or Andrew Levitt, who I don't know if you, if, if you're listening and not watching online, he, he's kind of a, you know, he's a heavy set guy. He has big, broad shoulders and you total man. <laughs> and, but just normalizing uh, drag, trans, everything. Well, Disney Plus released this 40-minute celebration of of Pride Month for Pride Month. He, here's a second clip. Hello, and welcome to the Disney Plus This Is Me Pride Celebration Spectacular. This is me. I'm Nina West, and I'm here to guide you through a magical, musical, and 
meaningful celebration of the LGBTQ mm -hmm. community. If you're anything like me, you've always been a fan of the Disney classics. From Belle, trying to find her place in a provincial town where she didn't fit in, to Ariel, dreaming of a world where she could be human. See how they're reframing all of these Disney classics into a specific narrative to then push and spin these narratives, which maybe was intentionally done years ago, but to try to frame it in a, see, these people are trapped in the wrong body and we should let, we should let kids transition, why not? And it goes on. Stories about outsiders wanting to express themselves and feel seen resonate so deeply with so many of us in this community. It's amazing when you see movies like Out, a Pixar spark short and characters like Carlos and Seb from High School Musical the Musical, the series, popping up on Disney Plus with uplifting themes that empower the LGBTQ plus community. Today, I want Disney fans of all identities to know that you are welcome in this family and our celebration of pride. The clip goes on for another 30, 40 minutes going through all the Disney classic songs that can be reframed in a LGBTQIAA plus manner, whether it's I can show you the world or go on and kiss the girl, Beauty and the Beast, uh, all the classics, Little Mermaid, all the classics being sung by what I'm guessing would be LGBT stars. In a, in a full-on indoctrination mini 40-minute film. And Disney is, not, Disney is not merely trying to make a quick buck off of this, but Disney has been pushing this indoctrination for decades. This has been intentional. This has been, a, I don't even want to say mastermind, but this has been set up for decades ago to push and indoctrinate children. And whatever... And it starts with laughter, right? Whatever a culture laughs at and embraces, that what one generation embraces and laughs at, then the next generation will fully embrace and inhabit. We saw that with, with sitcoms where you have the one quirky gay friend. They're not explicitly gay, but you know they're kind of gay. And we laugh at that. Well, the next generation embraces that as normal, which is the same thing that was quoted in this article before about in the Middle East, how there's many TV shows that are painting these pictures as normal normality so that the next generation embraces it. So here in the Middle East and elsewhere, we, we have real issues that we have to think about how to deal with. How, how do we deal with this, these issues? Because they're not going to go away. We can't legislate it away. We can't legislate this out of culture, just as we talked about before. We can't legislate woke ideology or critical race theory out of the education system because it's embedded into all the media. It's embedded into all the ways that the teachers teach. So how do we, how do we overcome? 